Hey, hey, folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new UU battle for you today. Uh, my opponent is Mr. Pocket Monsters. A uh, link to his channel is in the description and in the annotation. Uh, so, yeah, he PM'd me wanting a battle, and I am always more than happy to oblige when people PM me asking for battles. Uh, my number one favorite source of Pokemon battles is YouTube, followed by Smogon. I don't like going to the Zats so much, but I'll go to them if I have to. Anyway, he leads off with a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Aggron, and I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Yuxi. Um, I don't think there's much he can do to me, um, there's probably not much I can do to him either. Uh, it's quite obvious what we're going to do this first turn, we're both just gonna set up our rocks, um, and that's fine and dandy by me at least. So anyway, I'm, this next turn, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and use Psychic, see how much damage it does. He does resist it, uh, but whatever. So it does maybe a fifth. It does pop his air balloon, does break his sturdy if he has it. Um, he might have the um, rock head, I guess. He goes ahead and superpowers me. I resist that. does absolutely nothing to me because I am such a freaking wall. Um, his attack and defense both drop, and I decide there's really nothing else I can do here. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Um, I'm going to go ahead, in fact, and switch out into Kazulu, my uh, Tangrowth, uh, get a little bit of Stealth Rock damage, as he switches his Princess, his um, Agron, out, uh, out into his Alakazam. So I really should have stayed in, um, predicting his switch, but I didn't, and that was silly of me. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure, that since this is a specially defensive set, that I can take at least one Psychic. So I am going to stay in. Um, He's going to go ahead and use Psychic. It does a whole lot of damage. I survived with 42 HP, HP. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit him with Earthquake, thinking that it should probably KO because Alakazam really isn't that bulky. I really should have gone for the Power Whip, taken my chances, and probably have taken him out. Uh, but that's not how that's going to work. Uh, I can't tell whether he has enough HP to survive one more round of, of Stealth Rocks. Um, we'll have to find out. Um, I'm, we're both switching again uh, on the same turn because I don't want to take another Psychic. I go ahead and send Patrick back out, knowing that I can take a Psychic, no problem, since this is a specially def well, I think it's balanced defenses actually, but it's more specially defensive than my last UC. Um, anyway, gonna go ahead and take that Ice Punch like it was nothing, which it kinda was. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back with a super effective, um, Psychic. I don't have any uh, special attack investments, so that's not going to KO. He's going to go ahead and swap out back into his Princess. Um, free damage for me, both Stealth Rock and, well, Stealth Rock is practically nothing, um, but I am going to you know, get off a Psychic and uh, does a fair amount of damage, uh, and I get what I was hoping for. I get the special defense drop. A little bit of hacks, but as you're going to see, it doesn't exactly matter too much. Um, go ahead and go for the Psychic. Uh, he survived with a bit of HP. He's going to go ahead and roar at this point, and yeah, I mean, he survives with a special defense drop, so it's really not that big a deal. Kazulu comes out, which is excellent for me because I know I outspeed him. I have, uh, I have a move that's super effective against him. And um, furthermore, if I just decided to switch out, I would get additional health thanks to Regenerator. He's going to go ahead and swap out. I kind of predicted that, um, but I did not predict he would switch into Arcanine, which is just hilarious. I mean, he's seen that I, um, I have Earthquake. Um, I didn't want to overpredict here. I go for the Earthquake, and I just think it's so hilarious that I'm getting a super effective hit off on his Arcanine. Um, he survives with uh, really not that much HP, um, which is excellent for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch out Kazulu, predicting the fire type move. I noticed that he has flash fire, maybe he has justified, I don't know. But anyway, either way, I'm um, thinking that he's going to go for a fire move. Indeed, he goes for the flame charge, activates my flash fire boost. It's never a good idea to use a fire type move. Um, when you know your opponent has uh, a flash fire user. Anyway, I, I think figure that he probably has flash fire, so, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Flare Blitz isn't the best move here. I go for the extreme speed, uh, take him out, uh, he switches out Hitmon, Shan. He doesn't go for the priority Mach Punch, interestingly enough. I go for the, uh, the second extreme speed, take out his, uh, Hitmon, Shan, and Blake, my Archeon, is doing work. He sends out uh, his Blackthorn, and I figure that he might be uh, he might predict my switch, go for the Dragon Dance, um, and so that way I'll get two turns of Extreme Speed off. Um, so indeed, uh, I'm faster. Well, I mean, Extreme Speed is faster than him. He, he did predict my switch. Unfortunately, he went for the Substitute. Not that great for me. Um, 
because, you know, obviously he went second, so now I'm going to have to break his sub. I'm basically sacking Blake at this point. Um, really don't think I can do, uh, you know, I don't want to be taking a lot of residual damage, and I don't want this guy to have a free uh, sub up as he goes for a Dragon Dance. Um, he doesn't actually go for the Dragon Dance, he goes for the Brine. Now, Brine is a really weird move to have, um, especially considering I did have more than 50% of my health. I survived with 17 HP, I'm um, with a super effective stab hit. So it kind of says something. I'm going to just keep going for the extreme speed because it's doing fairly well. Um, he switches out his uh, Magna Zone, realizing at this point that I am locked into my move. Um, and, you know, he's going to be able to resist my extreme speed. Uh, hopefully at this point, based on that damage, he does realize that I'm banded. Uh, and again, I'm just say sacking my Arcanine here because I can't switch out at this point thanks to the fact that there's Stealth Rocks up. Um, so it, it's this turn that he's finally going to take me out with a T-Bolt, and that's going to be it for my Arcanine. But you know, Blake, you did great. You did work. So nothing to be ashamed of there. I get a free switch into my Clink, my, um, excuse me, my, uh, uh, Golurk. Um, anyway, he's going to go ahead and protect here. Um, I guess he'd never seen a Golurk before because, uh, you know, the subset is fairly obvious and fairly common. Maybe you just thought I was going to earthquake him for the uh, for the KO. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, he's going to go ahead and swap out here. Makes sense. Um, he's going to go ahead actually and send out his princess, uh, basically as death fodder, so he can get the free switch into someone else um, and EQ at that range of health. Up, you know, it's quad. Uh, it's quad super effective. Obviously, it's going to KO. No surprise there. Um, I really love this Golurk. It is super, super awesome. Uh, even though it is tiered lower, I think it's tiered RU, um, it really holds its own in, uh, in UU. So anyway, I'm behind a sub. He's going to break that sub with a brine, but, you know, free hit for me. I'm going to be able to take him out, I figure, with Earthquake. Um, no problemo. I could have gone for the Focus Punch. Uh, as I've said before, Focus Punch does do a little bit more damage, but I don't know why I didn't. I, don't, I didn't think it would matter. So um, I take out his Blackthorn, and that is that. Um, Clank is back up at this point to 322 HP, almost full HP, which is awesome. He's going to go ahead and send his Alakazam back out. I think I might be able to take one hit from this guy, considering how much health I'm at. He goes ahead and uses Shadow Ball here, and so it's super effective, so I'm thinking... I really don't know whether I can survive, and indeed, Clank is taken out, um, and that's rather sad. Uh, so, bye bye, Clank. I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Hugabug here, my uh, Galvantula, and it's times like this that I'm really, really glad that I run the Sucker Punch, because not sure who would have been faster. He might actually be Scarf for all I know, um, but I am able to take him out with a Sucker Punch, not having to worry about anything like that, and that is really, really awesome for me. Um, so next out, he sends out his very last Pokemon, his, um, excuse me, uh, Magneton. It's going to go ahead and protect on this turn as I go ahead and go for the Thunder. Just, you know, Thunder is the move that's going to do the most damage. I'm not sure whether it's going to KO. I kind of suspect that it won't, but it's going to do more damage than Bug Buzz, so I figure, what the hell, we'll see. He survives with a sliver of HP. I wonder if that was a min-max damage. Thing, but I don't know. Anyway, he doesn't have any moves to hit me, uh, even regularly effectively, it looks like. So he goes for the Thunder uh, Bolt, and I survive with a little bit of HP. Um, and I think, yeah, uh, so uh, Life Orb Recoil is going to take 28 HP on this next turn, and I'm going to survive with 2 HP, um, and this is good game. So great game, uh, Mr. Pokemon, uh, sorry, Mr. Pocket Monsters. Um, Feel free to challenge me again. Uh, I love getting challenges through YouTube. And yeah, so anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed that battle. Uh, I'm really loving the uh, UU tier. It's really awesome. Comment, rate, subscribe, challenge, and see you later.